early in the morning. Why does it seem so bright in here? What the hell, man? Hey, hey, man. I think I got the wrong bulbs. I think those babies are too bright up there, man. And they're gonna have to do for today, and I can't do nothing about it. The Gap Band, early in the morning. It's not really that early in the morning. It's uh. We had 7.57 in the morning. It's not really that early. Not yet. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me see him getting comments right here. And then. I always got to do the right thing here. I'm trying to see who I'm seeing here, who I'm not. There we go. Pepe Marquez. Good morning, good morning, amigo. Abel Martinez. Hey, dude, I tried calling you, and then you tried calling me back, and then I called you again, dude. Then you called me back, dude, and uh, we were playing phone tag, kind of like back in high school. Remember that stuff? Um, I know we didn't go to the same high school because you're older than me, but that's a different ball game. <laughs> you say, well, pobre, Abel, you say, hey, man, I'm not that older than you, Robert. Well, you're kind of older, Abel. You are kind of old. Let's go live. There we go, the Gap Band, early in the morning. Good morning, Double R Radio, uh, Wednesday morning. Hump day, Wednesday it is. Um, man, I'm feeling a little beat up this morning. I, I, I'm, I'm, it, it sucks when you wake up feeling your age. You know, it really, really does, man. And I woke up feeling my age this morning. It is, it is what it is. What are you going to do? I mean, I'm only 42 years old, and, huh? No, not 42. Okay, I'm only 52 years, huh? Not 52 either, huh? Okay, okay, I'm only 55? No? All right, 58. I'm 58 years old. Okay, I'll give it up. There you go. Anyways, it's a good morning. Thanks for waking up with me. Leticia Ochoa, buenos dias. Lorraine Solis, good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. Uh, Cristina Islas, buenos dias. Michelle Cohen, good morning, Michelle. How we doing? Anyways, Michelle Puente, good morning. Rosie Garcia, buenos dias. Abel Martinez. Abel, I need to talk to you today, dude. We got to work on that radio drop and all that other good stuff we got to talk about. So, okay, I will call you más tarde, Abel. I'll call you after a while and we'll talk a little bit, brother. Anyways, uh, let me see here. Tony Rivas, how you doing, Tony? Lorraine Solis, good morning. Ara Cantu, buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias. Uh, Wednesday morning, let's see here. Let's see here, what do I want to talk about? Um, you know, I have been watching Netflix as of late. Good morning, Chad. to Chris Flores, buenos dias. And I've been watching El Chapo on Netflix. Have y'all been watching El Chapo? I'm telling you, man, it is just simply awesome. It really, really is. Heck, man, it's almost better than Scarface. It really is. Anyways, and it's so ironic that I just finished watching the series El Chapo, and lo and behold, there's a story about El Chapo. Now, check this out. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but of course, we all know El Chapo is a Mexican drug lord from Mexico who was like a billionaire, right? Deborah Camarillo, Anaheim, California, Buenos Dias, Mary Gonzalez, good morning. Well, check this out. I'm going to give you some fun facts about El Chapo, according to my essay. One thing for sure, El Chapo had a private zoo. <laughs> where he had lions and tigers, all this stuff roaming around in his private zoo. Also, he had a beach house at every major beach in the United States. Also, each beach came with a beach. If you know what I'm talking about, you know beach. Uh, no. Okay. Anyways, um, along with that, is Chapo had a house in pretty much every major city in. The United States as well, man. The Chapo had lots and lots of money, man. Now, my question is this. Since El Chapo has been incarcerated, what happened to all his money? Where's his money at? I wonder if El Chapo can make a donation to Double R Radio. You know, <laughs> that's a, you know, a couple of millions, El Chapo, and to you it's a drop in the bucket. Couple of millions, we'll be good to go, El Chapo. We'll be buddies. There you go. <laughs> People are probably going, Robert, don't take the money, Robert. Don't take the money, Robert. Okay, I won't take the money from El Chapo. Good morning, John. There we go. Uh, Narcos. Dude, Chris, let me tell you something about Narcos Mexico. That is awesome. That's another one, man. Chris, you're right on, brother. Narcos in Mexico, Netflix. You got to watch that, man. That's really awesome stuff. It really is. James Gonzalez, good morning. Cindy Snyder, good morning. Smile, Cindy. I'm always getting after Cindy because she doesn't smile. Rick Rivera, good morning, good morning, good morning. Michelle Ramirez, William. Good morning, Michelle. Um, I'm, you know, speaking of Michelle and uh, some other people, I'm going to have to announce Friday morning on my morning show. I've got a major, major announcement that's going to be happening Friday morning. And Michelle Ramirez Williams is going to be part of this big announcement Friday morning. Definitely looking forward to that. There we go. Uh, don't want to miss anybody here. Irene Gayona, Prima, how you doing, Prima? Lorraine Soli. All right, Prima, i got a question for you. Prima, uh, just in case y'all guys don't know, my Prima, Irene, uh, she likes throwing chingazos. My prima is like in her, uh, prima, are you in your 60s, 50s? And really, you're right around her somewhere, right? Anyways, my prima, 
She likes throwing chingazos. She likes going to Whataburger and throwing some Whata chingazos. That's just the way she is. I don't know why, but uh, I can respect that. So if anybody needs a bodyguard, my prima will be your bodyguard. She likes throwing chingazos. <laughs> Pobre prima. <laughs> Pobre la prima. Oh, there, Robert. Leave me alone, primo. There we go. Ida, Frias. Good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. Lorraine Solis and me, Pablo Escobar, Series 2. There you go. Isn't it funny how us Americans, you know, Americanos, Mexicanos, Tejanos, we simply love these drug dealing uh, movies, man. We really, really do. And Soapy says, uh, video I always get skipped. I'm sorry, Ann. I'm not going to skip you today, Ann. Good morning, Ann. Sophie, good morning, Ann. How we doing? Ann, aren't you an Uber driver, a Lyft driver, something like that? Right? You are? Maybe. Yvonne Diller, there we go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Abel Martinez, buenos dias. Now, uh, let's see here what else is going on. Check this out. Crazy story, man. <laughs> There's some stories that I read, and right away it makes me laugh. This is one of them. Check this out. Um... A Dania Beach, wherever in the hell that is, a Dania Beach woman was arrested after she pulled a knife on a man who complained about her farting while they were in line at a store. Anyway, the 37-year-old woman was arrested at a Dollar General when she was in line waiting to pay for her items, but the man in back of her kind of noticed something funny. <laughs> the woman kept on farting, and she was farting in the direction of the guy in back of her. The guy in back of her said, hey! Hey, quit farting. Well, the woman got pissed off. She says, nobody tells me when to fart. She pulled out a knife and stabbed the man. In the back of her. Hey, man. Hey, uh, I would have said the same thing. Quit farting. That's, I would have told her, oye, vieja, tu eres puro pinche pedo. Tu eres puro pedo. Come on, man. Hurry up. Pay for your stuff and get out of here. Really, man. So a woman pulled out a knife out of the man. Uh, because the man kept on uh, kept on complaining about her farting. I would have done the same thing. I really, really would have. Anyways, you know what? We all know it's Christmas time. Let me see here. Uh, uh, my prima says, eating a barbacoa taco and papas a la mexicana. Wow, prima. Prima, do you deliver? That's what I want to know. Uh, prima, do you deliver? Anyway, uh, anyways, uh, Mary Louise Adrispe. Buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias. Don't want to miss anybody. Myrna Baniales. Buenos dias, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, now, we all know it's Christmas time and all that other good stuff. And San Antonio is well known for our Christmas lights. You know, the river walk and all this other good stuff. Right now, what I'm going to do for you guys, I'm going to give you all some of the top places. Some of the top places to go and check out the holiday lights. Here we go. Number one is the Riverwalk here in San Antonio. If you've never been to San Antonio, you've never been to the Riverwalk, right now is the perfect time to check out some of the lights and all this other good stuff. And if you don't like those lights, you can come check my Christmas lights in my bedroom. You know, <laughs> girls only. <laughs> Anyways, uh, another place, Travis Park in downtown San Antonio. It's another beautiful place to check out the lights. If not, you can go to my bedroom, ladies only. <laughs> also, another place you can go for Christmas lights is Winkrest here in San Antonio. Winkrest is also a really nice neighborhood with a whole lot of houses out there that uh, deck up their, their, their houses and all this other good stuff with a whole lot of decorations. That's Winkrest. Another place with a whole lot of beautiful Christmas lights here in San Antonio is the University of Incarnate Word. Now, they uh, look very, very nice there as well. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Santa's Ranch. Where in the hell is Santa's Ranch? Santa's Ranch is located in New Braunfels, Texas. They charge you $28 per vehicle. Um, if you're an Uber, $14 a vehicle. There you go. If you want to pay to go see Christmas lights. I'm not going to pay to see lights. I don't think so. Anyways, Spring Branch Ranch. A spring branch ranch? Yeah, there we go. Also, in Bernie, Texas, they charge $17 to go take a look at some lights. Also, Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Also has a whole lot of Christmas lights, and they have Santa Clauses flying in the sky. So I don't know how they do that. Good morning, Charlie Garota. Cecilia, Leal, Hernandez, good morning. Beatriz, Ramirez, good morning, good morning, good morning. Anyways, I mean, SeaWorld has a whole lot of lights and a whole lot of other stuff. You know, if you want to go see some Christmas lights, the San Antonio Zoo. Also, it's all decked up with Christmas lights and all that other good stuff. Anyways, it is Wednesday morning, I tell you what. 8.06 for the banana. Let's get me going. We're talking Christmas and stuff like that. Little Sunny by Patsy Torres. The name of the song, Santa Papi. Good morning. You're listening to Double R Radio. Streaming live from, I get a little jittery once in a while, San Antonio, Texas. Buenos dias. There we go. Be sure and join me right now. RobertRevisRadio.com. That simple. RobertRevisRadio.com. Just click on the blue button where it says it's to listen in now, and it's all free. Join me now. RobertRevisRadio.com. 
Órale. <risa>